Hello everyone! Welcome to Dreamer's Castle! Today I have some new plushies from Zen Market! It's a pretty big box as you can see. Um, I was searching for um, some very rare plushies and I'm, I think uh, I've told you before that that is the place to search for when you need a, a kind of a rare plush or the ones that are extremely expensive. So you might find some good deals there. Now, let's open this bad boy and see what I got. Using my favorite pair of scissors to open this very well sealed uh, parcel. Um, they they did about uh, it took about uh, like um, ten days for me to arrive from Japan. I used the express mail service, which uh, is kind of expensive, but uh, the goods get delivered to you very sooner than uh, the normal uh, post service so I mean you get your your things uh, earlier isn't that uh, more important than a little bit more amount of money what is this it's a thank you uh, leaflet okay I don't recall seeing that in the previous order. Uh, After a long fight with the hardest sealing tape, the dreadful plastic bags, the sinister airbags, and millions of bubbles, the dreamer has finally succeeded in his mission. To free the plushies! Let's start with two new additions to my Cutie Crawlies series. I got the Family Evolution line of Venonat and Venomoth. Let's start with Venonat. Um, I, I remember when I was uh, a kid and watching the series, uh, the first time I saw this cute little bag was uh was so i was so um i i was uh kind of, how can i say this it, i was uh fascinated by the fuzziness all over its body uh and indeed in uh, plush it looks like it looks this way it's super 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 fuzzy very very soft it has beans inside uh, those cute little feet are adorable. The eyes are super well made. And the antenna, uh, of course, they are uh, kind of sturdy. Oh, there is, there is there is a wire inside of them. Yes. So you can kind of pose them. Oh, check it out. It's such a cute bug, guys. I remember... Um, gym leader um it was koga i believe uh and uh ash used bulbasaur and uh, leech seed to weaken this this venonat it was such a great battle um and it, it, you know, i find it such a such an adorable pokemon guys it's small and the plushies fits right into the, um, the palm of my hand it's super super cute um the weird thing about Venonat is that no one would ever guess that its evolution uh, is uh, Venomoth and not Butterfree. I mean, come on, <laughs> really? This doesn't evolve into this? How? 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 They look so similar. Check out their compound eyes and the, this uh, violet color. Why? The, the antenna! The antenna is actually... they are actually um, almost identical, uh, except for the color. I mean, like, it's like uh, Butterfree is Venonat with wings. 
<laughs> uh, however, they decided to evolve it into Venomoth. Um, Venomoth is kind of a weird looking Pokemon, uh, but it has its um, strange beauty, I would say. Um, I also remember uh, that, that the gym fight. Um, I believe Koga actually. Oh, no, Koga's, um, Koga's Venonat uh, evolved into Venomoth right there in the middle of the battle, or he had another one. I don't remember this uh, detail. Um, but I remember it appeared on the show uh, and it looked very powerful. It's a, it's a very cool addition for my uh, Cutie Crawly series because I have been searching for this one for a very long time. Um, it is, it's kind of a rare uh, Pokemon Fit plush. There are not so many available out there. At least uh, while um, from the things that I see in the online stores and eBay and stuff, uh, it's not that uh, easy to find. So about the plush, it is very well made, as you can tell. Uh, <laughs> the, the eyes look weird, as they actually are. Uh, on Venomoth. Its wings are made of felt. Uh, it has beans on the in the abdomen. And it looks awesome. Now let's travel back to the Hisui region, where we can find three very cool Pokemon that I acquired today. And the first one is Snizzler. Or I believe it is uh, officially named Hisuian Sneasler. I'm not 100% sure, but I believe it is Hisuian Sneasler. And I do not know the reason why. Uh, they did the same thing with Clodesire. They call it the Paldean Clodesire. And why? I mean, is like uh, Clodesire in any other region? Or Sneasler? Anyway, uh, let's talk about the plush. You can tell that it is... Uh, very tall. Uh, it's very thin because it's uh, this is the, ki the the body shape of Snizzler. It has wires inside the arms and the legs that they extend up to the uh, the palms, the hands, the, the palm of the hands actually, and the claws they don't have anything inside. And. Here the wire ends to the bottom of the feet. So they are very, very posable. This, this plush is uh, super posable. Uh, the, the detail is great. This looks that this um, kind of a mean look. Um, how can you call it this? It's like a sinister look that all the, the Sneasel family has, and Weavile and Sneasel, they, they kind of, those eyelashes, I don't know, they, they give me some uh, uh, <laughs> bad guy looks. Uh, the color is l mm, light blue or gray maybe, and I think it matched very well with those uh, violet and uh, uh, fuchsia uh, colors. Uh, I like those uh, marks on the on the upper side uh, of the hands that kind of give you poison vibes. <laughs> um, one thing I really like about Snizzler is that it's shiny, is a very good color. It is golden. And for shinies, that is a very, very rare thing because they, as you know, they have weird uh, color alterations and sometimes some very, very small ones. So turning this one into gold is a huge thing. Uh, I actually shiny hunted this <laughs> on uh, Legends Arceus to find that golden Sneasler and it looks amazing. Uh, it's a very interesting Pokemon, and the plush looks really good as well. The next one 
definitely needs the Hisuian part uh, added to its name because it already has a another counterpart. It is Hisuian Arcanine. And I'm super excited to get this one because it will be the father of this cute little guy here, <laughs> Hisuian Growlithe, which is actually one of the, the cutest puppy Pokemon ever. Uh, so I'm super excited to get this guy. I I actually like this one better than uh, the the ordinary Arcanine. Uh, the colors are better in my opinion, and of course the typing. Uh, now it it uh, has the uh, the rock type as well, uh, and it's a it's a very interesting to use uh, Pokemon. Uh, I try to use it in my battles in uh, Pokemon Scarlet and Violet. Oh, it has a, this one has a tag as well. Oh, um, the colors are really, really matching each other. It's like this dark orange uh, with this dark gray. They make a perfect combination. You can tell that it's very impressive. It's super, super, super soft, especially all this, uh, <coughs> all this hair stuff. Um, it's made of a softer plush than the rest of the body. So it gives you like very uh, soothing feeling when you, when you like uh, pet its head. <laughs> it gives you very, <laughs> oh, this tail, <laughs> if you move it like this, it looks like a good boy. Such a cool Pokemon. <laughs> uh, it is also a big plush. Um, I can see that it doesn't have anything inside, uh, like wire or beans. So yeah, it's a very sturdy plush uh, and kind of large one. Actually, the tail is so large. You can tell, guys, and the looks. Uh, the eyes are very well made and you can actually see the teeth uh, coming out of its mouth fangs actually not teeth uh, it's, it's a very cool plush I'm so proud of it the last Hisuian plush for today is Hisuian Bravery this one I was very hesitant to buy, uh, despite uh, despite me liking so much this Pokemon, because the only complaint I had is that its wings are folded, and Isuian Bravery has like super large and super stunning and awesome wings, and I thought, why why did they do it to to this guy? Imagine this. Uh, plush with the with its wings spread wide open like this wide I mean it would have been a lot better than this but I didn't expect to find it so cool uh, when I when I see it here um, I have seen it in some other youtubers videos and it looked kind of weird, but now that I get it, it is actually very impressive. Um, the most uh, characteristic uh, thing about this plush is that the hair <coughs> on top of its head is actually like this hair stuff. They could have gone the way of um, this uh, Hisuian or K9, made it out of uh, plush material. Uh, but they actually made it like a mane. They they used uh, this hair stuff. Um, how can I say it? Uh, and they made it super super fuzzy. And it was a great choice for me. Uh, the, those uh, this this pattern on its forehead. Uh, it has such a great color combination. Uh, it is made of felt. As you can probably tell, it is uh, super soft. The wings, unfortunately, are kind of thin. 
they could have put some uh, stuffing inside to make it like more puffy. Uh, the tail is very very well made and the feet don't have any wires inside so uh, you kind of have to balance it uh, with the tail to make it uh, stand up uh, because it lacks uh, wires inside of the, the legs uh, but in general it is a very cool plush and with an amazing shiny as well uh, just like uh, Sneasler because it turns black and this what this thing is uh, full blue such cool Cool, cool, cool color palette for a shiny Pokemon. Black and blue. Great, great, great. Great design. I found it very, very stunning when I saw Hisuian Bravery for the first time. It, it's a very impressive Pokemon. It's not to its full potential in the plush, but still a very decent plush. Oh, one thing I forgot to mention is that uh, these three Hisuian plushes uh, were not so hard to find um, but on the market I found them very cheap um, Hisuian Slizzler was like 16 euros and somewhere 20 it's between 20 and 25 the Hisuian or K9 and Bravery they they were a super good deal, so I had to buy them from there. Uh, let's move on to the rest of them. I got three more left, guys, and these ones are indeed very rare. The first one is a Pokemon that I didn't expect to, <laughs> to for it to look that good in the plush, and it is Pulti, guys, uh, as you have already seen, because it like a picked its head out of there it's a very cool plush it is kind of smaller than I expected it's like uh, bigger than my hand but it is very very well made <laughs> check out uh, its face it's super funny like having a, a, a cap on top of its head that is actually the uh, the top of the teapot, <laughs> the lead of the teapot, <laughs> the handle is amazing here. Uh, it, although those uh, patterns <laughs> around its uh, body, they, they are super well made. I actually, guys, don't know how they uh, they make these. They, they, mm, the, the precision of these designs it's very impressive and I wonder how they actually produce these things is it painted uh, somehow they, they print this uh, this material like this it it's super well made and those cute little feet <laughs> uh, <laughs> uh, it has like a hole in the teapot and <laughs> you can see its feet getting out there. It's super cool. Very funny plush. Very cool plush. Um, I am definitely sure that all of you that own this one, um, it it looks a very. It's one of the, the very special uh, additions to your collection. It is. I mean, good job on them for making Poltergeist into a, a plush and I'm considering on getting uh, Sinistra uh, it's a uh, Kitakami uh, counterpart uh, and I just want to have them both <laughs> and they would look very cool together I'm checking all this time if, I, if they had like this super uh, important detail to leave a mark inside to make it the the masterpiece form um, uh, I believe it is called the, ma the, the masterpiece the original no the, the masterpiece form uh, which is the one that is uh, super super rare and they actually don't have 
any of that. I guess I got the, <laughs> the fake one, but I still love it. I, I can't find the words to, to, do, to describe the, the excitement when I opened this, uh, the package and I saw this guy. It's such a cool plush, guys. Totally recommend it if you can find it somewhere. Um, kind of cheap because I know it is very, very expensive right now because it's very rare. But I totally recommend it. It's an amazing plush. The next one, I I was um, thrilled to find it on Zen Market because it is one of the rarest plushes that... Uh, I have been looking for and I actually got it for like uh, 50 euros yeah 55 45 or 50 and it is Urshifu the rapid strike form as you can probably tell it is a very large plush and actually kind of a heavy one they put a lot of uh, uh, material inside to make it look uh, sturdy and all this uh, buffed up form it has wires inside its arms and legs so it is super super possible um, I of course I picked the the rapid strike form because I like the, the water type um, yeah yeah right no, no words it looks amazing. Uh, the, the plush is super well made. Uh, it is very soft. I like all the details on its body. Um, one thing I noticed, like that it's different material from this, is those uh, claws uh, on the on the hands and on the feet are from this rough material uh, let me focus this yeah it, it doesn't work but anyway they are rougher than the rest of the body which is very very soft it's super huggable <laughs> you can you can like open its arms and make it hug you this way uh, and you can also like uh, kung fu fight and stuff <laughs> it is super cool um, I just wish they, they would give us the Gigantamax forms. Like, imagine this one and its full potential uh, being uh, blue as well. They, they kind of missed the opportunity, I believe, with the Gala region. They didn't give us many Gigantamax uh, plushies. We had like, what, Pikachu, uh, Meowth, Eevee... Corviknight, Alcremi, and uh, Charizard. I can't remember any any other plush. Am I right? Uh, but they these are very few, uh, comparing to the whole uh, amount of Gigantamax Pokémon that we have that we had. So yeah, I would really really like to see this one in its Gigantamax form. Uh, it would have looked amazing. And I was kind of expecting back then for them to make uh, an other uh, Gigantamax Pokemon. And one other Pokemon that I would uh, I would expecting for them to release is a uh, Gigantamax Venusaur. Guys, can you imagine um, this gigantic flower that is uh, kind of uh, hiding its face? <laughs> it was like this. Uh, like making this as a plush and kind of a big one it would it would have been amazing they they missed they missed so so badly with that one they they should have made it a plush but anyway we have hopes for the future maybe when we get uh, the eighth generation Pokemon feet from like 10 years from now maybe <laughs> I don't know um, but I'm super satisfied that I got uh, Urshifu. Um, it is totally worth the money for me. Uh, I mean, comparing like to 
what, um, how much I find I find this guy on eBay. It's more than a hundred dollars, and I got it for half the price, and it is totally worth it. Such a cool plush. And the last one is a plush that uh, it is also very rare, um, and uh, the price was. Uh, very 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 <laughs> high for this one uh, and I thought that I would never get this guy but I found it there and actually very cheap about 30 euros it is Decidueye it is one of the few starters final evolutions that I miss I believe it, it is actually this it was actually this one and uh, Typhlosion and uh, Samurot. Yes, uh, yeah, yeah, I remember this because I I was telling to myself that I have their uh, Hisuian counterparts and I actually don't have the original ones. And now I got the CGI and I'm super excited for it. Uh, <laughs> it is such a cool, 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 cool Pokemon. Their thought of making this uh, Ranger uh arrow shooter guy owl uh, in a in a starter they they did an amazing job with this one the plush is very very uh, stunning you can spread its wings due to the wires uh, inside of them it has a skeleton uh, the legs don't have anything inside but I believe it is actually kind of easy to uh, to pose this one. Look at him! Look at him spreading its wings like he's he's amazing. The CGI is my I, I love this guy because the CGI is my main uh, uh, attacker when I play ranked in Pokemon Unite and like those uh, how is this called the, this move Spirit Shackle that Spirit Shackle where he draws this um, arrow and shoots it from afar. It is so satisfying to kill people or steal objectives like uh, Regia Leggy or even Rayquaza. It is super satisfying. So I love the CGI for this. Uh, now let's talk about the actual plush. Um, it is very, very soft. And this, uh, the, the brown part is even softer than the rest of the body like the wings here and the cape uh, it's super super soft um, if you can like spread a little bit the, the hood you can see the awesome detail on its eyes check out those <laughs> eyes an amazing they, they, they did an amazing job with this plush guys 100% satisfied with this one totally recommend it get it if you can guys uh, one thing that I have no uh, idea is you guys if you guys live in the UK or in the US any, anywhere you have um, Pokemon centers can you actually find uh, the starter final evolution plushes like can you find uh, Typhlosion like the, the, the standard uh, version like this not in Pokemon feet or stuff like that can you find those easily or uh, I remember I remember had a very hard time um, finding Infernape, Swampert and Delphox so I got it from eBay kind of a uh, price it but uh, I got them because I had no way of, of finding them they were very rare so do you guys see them easily in Pokemon centers can you find them because even online they are super hard uh, to buy and they are very expensive of course so I'm very excited to get this guy <laughs> the dreamy question for today is do you have any Pokemon that you want, uh, but you can't find it easily in a plush? So, 
For example, I was searching the CGI for many years to find it in a decent uh, price. So, uh, do you have any Pokemon that you, you're very fond of and that it is very hard for you to get? Because you, you can't actually find it uh, anywhere, they're super, super rare. What are your uh, Pokemon in the wishlist? Thank you guys for watching another video! I uh, hope you had a great time this time as well. Um, probably if you liked some of my plushes, you can um, chase the ones that you want, as I told you before, to kind of get them and complete your wish list or your your bingo if you had if you had download this uh, this image from P2. Uh, if you don't know him, it's another great uh, Pokemon YouTuber. Um, so you can kind of uh, complete some stuff there if you have uh, made this bingo. I believe that with my additions today, I actually got a bingo. I haven't checked it uh, right now, but I believe I did it. Uh, I got some some plushes that I actually have been hunting for a long time, especially the CGI. It's like more than 10 years, I believe. Uh, so today's unboxing was uh, very important for me and my collection. As you can tell, the collection keeps growing. We have a lot more plushes to come, of course, but we're, we're getting there. I believe we can make it to 300 and more. Uh, again, thank you so much, guys. Until next time, 